next on FSN Bay Area. Welcome back to the California Golden Bears 2006 football preview. And it's a draw play. Pair by Lynch. Lynch breaks over the right sideline. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. 15, 10. Touchdown Bears. From the campus of UC Berkeley, once again, here's your host, Lindsay Soto. In the last three seasons, Jeff Tedford has won 26 games. The last time a Cal coach did that, let's just say his players' helmets didn't quite have face masks yet. Clearly, Jeff Tedford is doing all right for himself here at Cal. Not so much so, though, that he is unwilling to make changes. In fact, this offseason, he went out and got himself a new offensive coordinator, specifically one that is an expert on the spread. The offense you're going to see this year is going to look a little different than the one from years past. Here's Jim Watson with the coach. Let's talk about the new offense. Why? Because of the personnel or is it something that you wanted to do? I think it just makes us a little more diverse. Uh, the concepts in football, there are some crossover with the concepts and the spread and the, and the other things that we do. We do have the personnel to spread the field. We get a lot of speed at receivers. So to be able to spread the field is a good thing for us. And we really hadn't done a lot of that before. And so we're going to do some of that, but we're not going to change a lot from what we have been. Let's talk about your quarterbacks. I'm sure you've been asked this many times already. Uh, you know, last year it was going to be Long Shore. He gets hurt in the first game. You go to Joe Aob, and, and Aob played pretty well at the beginning. And then he seemed to lose confidence as the year went on. So everyone expected Long Shore to be your guy this year. But I heard that Aub had a pretty good spring. Where does it stand right now? He had a great spring. He really did. I, I'm really admired with his perseverance because he did go through some tough times at the end of the season last year. Uh, but he came back very strong through spring, did a nice job. Um, the quarterback situation right now, Nate Longshore will take the first snaps in fall camp. Who's the starter in the first game? I don't know. But we're in a pretty good situation that way. We have a guy with Nate who's been around for a long time, so has a lot of mental experience, not a lot of physical experience. Joe, on the other hand, started eight games for us last year. You know, so he has that ability to, and he feels like he can come in and, and do a great job. And then Levy played the last two games and act like, you know, he always belonged there. So, you know, we have some experience and, and some people with confidence. Let's talk about Marshawn Lynch, one of the best running backs, certainly in the conference, maybe in the country. I know you guys are talking about a Heisman Trophy campaign for him. Everybody keeps talking to me about Marshawn Lynch as this year's Reggie Bush. Do you plan on using him the same way, and, and do you take that as a compliment? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I think that's a compliment for Marshawn, no question. To put him, to even mention him in Reggie's class, I mean, he, he has not proven that yet. To me, Reggie Bush is a proven guy who has done it all. Marshawn has the potential to be that, and yes, we will use him in this, a lot of the same situations, you know, out of the backfield, line up at receiver, that type of thing. He's very smart. He can handle all that. You know, he's a guy who can run between the tackles, very physical, great speed to break the big one. Great pass protector, physical that way, and a, an excellent receiver. So he's a very well-rounded player, but we haven't seen it all yet. I think we're going to see some pretty good things from him. September 2nd, Neyland Stadium, Tennessee, 108,000 cousins going crazy. Do your guys know what's coming their way? I think they do, yeah. It, uh, you know, we've talked about it. There's a big picture in my office of a stadium full of people that they all signed, you know, saying that they were ready for that challenge. And, uh, you know, we will practice with a lot of noise all through camp, so we'll be ready for it. Tell me what a Saturday's like in Strawberry Canyon. What's it like to walk through the tunnel at Memorial Stadium on a Saturday? It's awesome. It, it, it just, it has changed so much from, you know, I reflect back on the first year that we were there. We run through this, through the tunnel and, you know, there's 28,000 fans there and it looks like a practice. Well, now it has really changed. I mean, I'm so happy that our fans are coming out to the game. We have great support. It just, it rocks in there. There's an excitement, electricity when we come through that tunnel that our players feel it. It truly is now a home field advantage. Thanks, Jim. Just think, the Bears were coming off a 1-10 season when Jeff Tedford took over. Now they're challenging for national championships. Things sure have changed in Strawberry Canyon. They'll only change more after the season. When the renovation of Memorial Stadium gets underway. Coming up on the California Golden Bears football preview, we'll break down Cal's competition in the Pac-10 this season, and we'll meet Damian Hughes.